Day five of five days of foundation. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Bobby, and today is day five of five days of foundation. And today we're going to be covering CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Foundation Cream. These videos are not me trying to get you to buy these products. This is for me to educate you so when you go into a store, you'll have a better idea whether a foundation would be right for you. All right, let's get into the application of this foundation. When I got this, I literally had such a hard time opening. I could not figure it out. They have a thing in the back here that holds this and that was hard to open. Now it's easy because I got it open, but this I could not and I went on their reviews and I heard a few other people, well, I read a few other people saying the same exact thing. So it clearly was not just me and my arthritis in my fingers, but seriously, make it easier, people. Um, okay, so you just screw it off. That's how you open the thing. Put it in like that. And I did self-tan, so this seems like a little bit lighter, but I can warm it up with some bronzer if I need to. Okay, clearly a light coverage because I can see my hyperpigmentation and I see stuff on my nose and yeah, so not great so far. And that's with a brush, which should give me more. I will do a second um, layer to see. So now with a sponge, I'm just going to dab it in or maybe rub a little bit. It's hard. This is weird to do a sponge with this, I will say. Oh, that, that's better to do that. Okay, initially I'm liking the sponge with this better. Of course, I usually like a sponge, but one of these CoverGirl foundations does much better with a brush. So you'll have to watch the other five days of foundation to see which one. Shameless plug. <laughs> I definitely like this side better than this side. Okay, initial thoughts are, it's definitely making my pores look more pronounced. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit more. So, definitely more pronounced. It's already gathering in my forehead. I definitely see some dry patches, but again, it has a lot to deal with. So let's go ahead and try another coat, see if it will cover. I'm gonna try to do more like this instead of just patting, see if it'll give me more coverage. Oh yeah. Get a little bit more on my brush. I don't want to go crazy. I do have to go to work. I'm usually at work at this point. Yep, I would have been at work, but we have a two hour delay. I work at a school. I'm not a teacher. I work in the offices and we have a two hour delay because of icing. So um, I was able to film this morning, which is kind of a nice benefit. <laughs> From far away, I like how that looks. Let's try the sponge on the left side. It's definitely looking heavy on my brush side, so I'm gonna try to dab it out more with this. It's definitely more than a light coverage once you get that second layer in. By the way, there's no smell. Oh boy, it's really creasing on my forehead. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to set it, which is always a bummer to me because I have the dry skin. I try not to set. I always let my foundation sit for a few minutes when I'm not, not positive how it's going to react. Sometimes when foundation sits on your skin for a few minutes, it looks better. Sometimes it looks worse, but I'm amazed. Sometimes you just gotta let it kind of absorb into your skin, let it settle down, let any redness that you have from your skin being rubbed and touched so much, just everything settle. So don't go automatically in with a powder and try to hide everything. You might not need to hide that. So give it a chance to just settle down. You know your skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and put brows on and see how we look. Okay, so brows are on. They look like distant cousins more than sisters, but we're going with it. <laughs> It's one of those bad brow days. The foundation. Okay. 
Okay, I can't stop looking at my brows. They look so big. They'll even out once I get some eye makeup on, but they just look big today. The makeup. <laughs> I digress. Oh my goodness, it's just not looking good. It's gathering everywhere. The forehead actually is not gathering as much as it was, so I'm actually happy about that. I'm going to give it a tiny bit of powder, but my nose is just, I mean, its it went right off. Like, I can't get it to stick there. I'm like, why is it not sticking there? My nose around the tip is always a struggle. It started to look bad, and then I went ahead Where's my brush? I went ahead and took my brush that I used and then just kind of patted it around my nose. It looks better. I'm hoping that with powder that will set that in place because it was looking really bad. Like the whole nose came off in a second. I'm like, why? And it's definitely picking up dry areas. So it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and take my sponge and just kind of make sure everything is in its place. And then I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. Since I'm using CoverGirl Foundation, I figured why not? I've been using it for all of these. And around my mouth. Okay, <laughs> it's not looking so good. I'm not happy at all, but there are days that it starts to look better throughout the day. My oils start coming in and I mean, I have limited because I have dry skin, but my oils, my natural oils will start to work with the foundation and sometimes it looks better. Sometimes it looks worse. It depends on the foundation. So let me do the rest of the face and we'll do another check in and we will look at it in natural light as well. All right, there's my completed look. I, um, if this, if this foundation survives the day, I'll be completely amazed. Um, before I forget, let me tell you what's on my face. On my cheek, well, on my eyes, I got this actually yesterday. It's a Morphe palette. I can't wait to play with it. I only played with it a little bit, but look at those colors. Oh my gosh but I just played with that a little bit. I'm not gonna go into detail of what I did because I barely did hardly anything. Um, on my eyes is my favorite Waterproof Lash Princess from Essence. For my cheeks, I did Milani Nude Kiss. Love, this is a cream, cream blush, one of my favorites. It comes on strong, so my advice on that is to put it on your hand and then put it on your, like, just kind of work it into the bristles. And I love this blush, love it. I have the new e.l.f. Love Triangle Lip Filler, and I have it in the color Mauve. I only have that on, and then I have City Lips, their clear lip gloss on top. They're plumping, which plumps, but doesn't hurt. Okay, I'm getting some sun coming in, so I'm trying to not see that, but this is what it looks like in natural light. I'm gonna get really close. Hopefully it's picking up. I have major dry right there, and so that's what I'm seeing, and that's not thrilling me too much, but that is the tretinoin. That's definitely um, me adjusting. All right, I'm going to work today, so we'll see how the check-ins work. <laughs> can't do it obviously in light um, but we'll see oh I'm getting lines coming in from the Sun all right I'll see you guys uh, a couple hours from now okay sadly I did not get to do a five-hour check-in it is now four o'clock in the afternoon and I will soon be taking this off my face because I'm done with work and I need to relax at the end of the day and part of relaxing is getting it off my face so this one I cannot wait to get off my face. It truly is not good for my skin at least. My um, skin is so dry right now and peeling, which is not the foundation's fault. It's definitely my skin. It's just over dry. But besides that, it is breaking apart. It's really cakey in here. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in for you guys. It's really dry all in here, but just see how it's like it's off. There's no foundation all in here, and what's there is broken apart. Here, it's all, it's all a mess. My eyebrows are also a mess. That's a whole other story that I will do in another video. The right side is a little bit better. 
with the brush side, but I also don't have as dry foundation, I mean, as dry skin there. So the nose, it's completely off, like all around it's off. And I blew my nose a couple of times, but not that much. Oh, I also forgot to say, it's very much gathered in my forehead a lot. So that's disappointing. You're gonna wanna watch this video to see if this one does better because these two are very similar, but does this one act the same as this one? So go watch this video and see if this one would be better for you. Okay, so clearly this was not a winner. It was pretty much a bust. I do encourage you, like I just said before, to go watch this one and see if they are very similar. I'm going to link that one right here for you to go directly there. I will see you in maybe that one or another one. God bless.